Hi, my name is Ashley Parks. Um, I went to Sycamore High School. I was in YEP for three years and I was on the executive committee for two years as membership chair. I also went out on site visits and really enjoyed the YEP 2 Point Pro committee as well. So I just finished my entire junior year being abroad in Rome. I go to Loyola University Chicago. I'm double majoring in global studies and advocacy social change with a minor in peace, conflict and justice studies. Um, and so I've had the opportunity to do a research cohort being abroad in Rome. And it's been amazing. And so now I'm in Bologna about to head back to the States, um, currently looking at internship opportunities in different nonprofits. I just finished an internship with an organization in Rome called Differenza Donna, and they work to help refugee women, women seeking resources from domestic abuse, women seeking jobs, wanting to learn Italian, things like that. So it was actually a great way for me to find community in a new country. Yeah, so YEP shaped me in a lot of ways, definitely. I think one of the things I didn't realize right away upon being in YEP was how each person has their own influence, their own way to connect, their own change they can create. And so I think it's such a unique opportunity that I carried with me um, in college and definitely being abroad as well. I was able to lead in situations that I didn't realize I had the capacity to do. I seeked out volunteering positions. I was able to form a deeper sense of community in Rome, as I mentioned previously, working on an internship um, in Loyal Chicago, for example. I worked with Community Service in Action and I worked on their social justice committee where we held conversations about like three events a month. Um, and we would talk about various social justice issues with our peers. And it was a great way for me to grow as a person and also hear from others. And so I think that came from having the experience with the app and watching how just one person can affect change and how even more powerful and transformative it can be when you work together and kind of trust in each other with your own ideas. So that's definitely one of the biggest ways that YEP has shaped me. So currently how I'm trying to continue to impact my community with the things I learned from YEP, I actually have been thinking more about how um, interesting it was that we worked with grant money and giving funding to different nonprofits and organizations. And that's something that I hadn't focused on as much post high school. And so actually, um, I'm currently in the interviewing process for an organization called Women Employed in Chicago, and they work specifically for financial support for women and empowering them in all walks of life from jobs, um, school, if they need support because they're lacking resources. Um, and they're focused a lot on equality financially for women. And so I think this is kind of returning to YEP in a way of focusing on giving grants and how can monetary funds change communities and really create empowerment. So that is actually a really cool thing that is I'm excited to connect back with YEP. Okay, so funny memories from YEP. Um, one I have is my last year in YEP actually. So I was on the executive committee as membership chair and I was tasked with introducing this panel of like nonprofit philanthropists I was excited. I knew some of them that were on the board and I was excited that I got to introduce it. And Noah was told me, you know, make sure that you know who's sitting where because the list of names isn't in order. So you don't want to read off the wrong name. And I was like, totally, whatever, really fine. Um, mingling with my friends, it's fun, you know, yet meetings are fun. And then I get up there in front of everyone. I'm like, okay, like everyone, here are the panelists. And I start reading their names. And lo and behold, on accident, I read a man's name for like the second woman in the line and she was super confused. And everyone on the panel just looked at me like this isn't the right person. And I was like, oh gosh, no one was right. I should have looked at the right name. So that was a moment of like, adults know what they're saying sometimes. That was a good instruction. Um, and then probably one more memory, and this is a favorite site visit of mine, was the Royal Children's Ball. Um, it's just such a lovely event. And my favorite thing was to do face painting for all the families because it's just so fun to see the kids like really excited. And I'm not the best artist, but they were always really nice and would tell me they, they love the butterfly or whatever I drew. And you get to chat with the families and see what the event means to them. So that was definitely a favorite side visit.